Welcome back to Movie On. Today I'm going to explain the movie called Bloodlust Beauty from 2019. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care, and I hope you enjoy it. At the beginning of the movie, we saw a girl named Mariam, and her husband Roy was talking to his business partner on the phone so that he could get the project. Nowadays, Roy's financial situation was not so great, and that's why he was not treating Mariam very well. On the other side, we saw a painter named Yuda. He asked the hotel owner about the address of his new house. The owner of the hotel showed him the address, and then Yuda went there. After reaching there, he was trying to paint something, but he had no idea about what he should draw. And suddenly, Yuda saw Mariam. She was looking so beautiful in a red dress. Yuda went after her. On the other side, we saw Mariam's husband, Roy. He went to a guy named Ozzy. Ozzy was a gangster, and he had a business of providing loans. But when someone didn't return his money on time, he would torture them very badly or he would kill them. Roy was also in debt to Ozzy, but instead of giving the money back, he asked for more money. He told him that if I can get this project, then I will return your money with interest. Roy agreed with him and gave him his boss's money, and threatened him to return the money in time. Mariam went to her dad's grave and started to cry in her dad's memory. When Mariam went back home, Yuda went there after her and he started to draw her secretly, because a beautiful girl like Mariam was the perfect model for his painting. Mariam noticed Yuda and suddenly went there and caught him red-handed. She asked him, how are you drawing my portrait without my permission? Yuda said sorry to her and said that I'm a painter. I couldn't figure out what I should draw, but then I saw you, and I thought that you were the perfect model for my painting. Mariam forgave him since he was a painter and asked him to make a painting of herself and her dad. Yuda agreed with her, but when Mariam told him that I need my husband's permission for this, we saw that Yuda became a little upset, because he had no idea that Mariam was married. In the evening, when Roy came back home, Mariam asked him for permission to make the paintings. But Roy told her that we're already in a financial problem, and you want to make a painting at this time? Have you gone mad? But when Mariam told him that the painter would make those paintings for free, then Roy gave her permission without any hesitation. The next day, Mariam went to the painter's house, and then she gave him a photo of her dad to make his painting, and told him that her father was such a good man and he had so much respect for women. He also taught me self-defense. After that, Mariam begins to spend more and more time with Yuda, so that Yuda could make a good painting of her. One day, Roy called his house and asked the maid about Mariam. She told him that Mariam went to the painter to make those paintings. After hearing this, Roy started to have a doubt that his wife must be cheating on him, and that's why he was about to come back home early. But then the men of Ozzy came there and put him into the car and took him to their boss. Ozzy punched him in the face and asked him to return the money. Roy immediately called his partner and asked him if they got the project or not. His partner told him that the project had been cancelled, and some of our colleagues have been arrested by the police. Then we saw that the police were outside of Roy's partner's house which means they've come to arrest him as well. Roy became so shocked after hearing this, and Ozzy realized that his project had been cancelled. Ozzy became so angry, and he was about to cut off Roy's fingers, but then Roy stopped him and told him that I will sell my house and return your money. But the problem is, this house was in Mariam's name, and now Roy just needs to convince Mariam, and that's why Ozzy gave him another chance. On the other side, we saw that Mariam was putting the painting of her father and herself on the wall. But then we saw someone else in the house, and he was spying on Mariam. Then suddenly, Mariam found the beheaded head of her cat on the dining table. She got so scared and started to scream loudly. She loved that cat so much. Yuda heard her scream and came to the house. He tried to calm her down, but then the maid saw them together, and that's why Mariam told Yuda to get out of there because this could lead to a misunderstanding between her and her husband. When Roy came back home, Mariam told him that I found the head of our cat on the dining table. Roy was also so shocked after hearing this. He told her that we should sell this house. Mariam got so shocked after hearing this and told him that this house is the only memory of my father and I will never sell this house. Then Roy asked her if she wanted to see his head on that table tomorrow and we realized that Ozzy's man killed the cat so that Mariam would easily agree to sell the house. But Mariam didn't agree with him. Then Roy told her that you're cheating on me with that painter, and that's why you don't care about me at all. After saying this, Roy left the house and informed Ozzy that Mariam is not agreeing on selling the house. 
After hearing this, Ozzy told him if Miriam dies, then the property will be yours. Roy was so angry, and he also had a doubt that his wife and the painter were in a relationship. And that's why he told Ozzy to kill his own wife, and made a plan so that the painter will get arrested for his wife's murder. After that, Ozzy kidnapped Yuda and Miriam. On the other side, Roy was recalling the memories of Miriam, and now he was feeling guilty about his decision. That's why he realized that whatever he had done to Miriam was so wrong. Then he called Ozzy and canceled the plan of killing his wife. Roy also told him not to do anything to his wife, but since Ozzy was not a good guy, he gave Miriam to his men. All of his men raped Miriam one by one, but Miriam knew self-defense because of her dad. Therefore she hit them and tried to run away from there. Ozzy was also torturing Yuda, but somehow he also freed himself and helped Miriam to run away from there. But one of Ozzy's men stabbed him with a knife and he became injured. On the other side, Miriam went to the bridge while running. She asked from a car, but that was Ozzy's car. And after some time, all of Ozzy's men came here as well. They stabbed her with a knife and pushed her down from the bridge. But Yuda was the witness of this murder. Yuda told everything to the police, but the police couldn't find her body anywhere. And that's why they started to blame him for the murder. On the other side, we saw Roy. He was sleeping. Suddenly, he heard a cat noise, and he woke up. When he went downstairs, he found his dead cat. His whole body was covered in blood. And then he saw the beheaded head of Miriam on the table. He got so scared, and suddenly he woke up. But then he again got into the nightmare. And in this nightmare, Miriam was scaring him. And just like before, he again woke up from his sleep, and again saw Miriam. And he got very sick. Meanwhile, the villagers were talking about Miriam's soul on the bridge. On the other side, Roy was waiting for the death certificate of Miriam so that he could sell the house and return Ozzy's money. And then we saw that Miriam seduced a man of Ozzy and took him to the bridge. He was so drunk. After that, she killed him. Just like that, she killed another man of Ozzy to take revenge. Yuda was also having nightmares. He saw that Miriam was trying to kill him, and then suddenly he woke up. The next morning, they found two dead bodies on the bridge, and Miriam killed them last night. The villagers were talking about Miriam's soul, Ozzy's men were also scared since two of their friends had died. But Ozzy told them that there's no such thing as a ghost, and we don't have to be scared. Yuda was also talking to the villagers about her ghost. The villagers believe that after the murder, Miriam had become so powerful as a ghost, and she's taking revenge on the people who killed her. But Yuda told them that Miriam was such a nice girl and she could not kill these men like this. Another night, Miriam killed another man of Ozzy, and when the other guy tried to go outside, Miriam cut his throat with her power. When Ozzy came back and saw the dead bodies of his men, he got so scared. The last of his men ran away from there. While he was running away, Miriam also killed him. On the other side, Ozzy went to Yuda's house to save his life, because he believed that if he stays with Yuda, then Miriam will not harm him. And he told Yuda that Roy ordered me to kill Miriam, so that he could sell the house and I could get the money back. After hearing this, Yuda became so mad at him, and he locked Ozzy in his house and went to Roy. He tried to make him tell the truth. He told him to accept his guilt, but Roy didn't want to go to jail, and that's why he started to break stuff and screamed loudly so that all the people would think Yuda had killed them all, and now he came here to kill him as well. After hearing the noise and screaming, the villagers came to Roy's house, and they went back with Yuda. Yuda told them that Roy kidnapped me and Miriam with the help of Ozzy, and then they killed Miriam. Yuda took them to his home to make them believe him, but when he went to his house, he saw that the door was already open, and Ozzy's dead body was hanging from the ceiling. All the people started to have doubts about Yuda, but he told them that if I'd killed him, then I would never take you all to my house. But none of them listened to him. Therefore, Yuda tricked them and ran away. The next day, the police went to Roy's house to protect him, so that Yuda wouldn't attack him anymore. At night, Roy saw that Miriam was inside the house. He got so scared and came outside. He told it to the police, and the police went to his bedroom to check. And then the boss of Ozzy kidnapped him. The name of his boss was Kotan. He told him that, I've given that money to Ozzy, and he gave that money to you. And now, since he is dead, it's your responsibility to return the money. And if you don't do this, then I will kill your family right now. Your mom and your sister will also be part of this. After that, Roy went to that bridge with Kotan's men and an exorcist to get rid of Miriam's ghost. 
The exorcist started the exorcism, and Miriam came to the bridge. But he couldn't do any harm to Miriam. He told them that this soul is so powerful, and then the exorcist ran away from there. And then Kotan's men began to shoot Miriam, but Miriam cut his throat with his own knife. Roy was so scared to see this, and began to say sorry to her. Meanwhile, Yuda also came there and stopped Miriam. He told her that I know you haven't died yet, you are still alive. You went to a house by the river and planned to kill everyone and take your revenge. Since your dad was a member of the special force, he taught you everything about self-defense, and you had no option but to become a ghost. The whole village is scared of you, and that made it easy for you to take your revenge. After knowing this, Roy said sorry to her. He told her that when I found out you had an affair with this painter, I couldn't help myself, and I told Ozzy to kill both of you. But still, I love you a lot, and I tried so much so that Ozzy doesn't kill you. But it was too late. Yuda told him that there's nothing between us. Miriam always respected your love, and she cannot even think about cheating on you. Roy said that I know Miriam deserves so much better than me, and if she wants, then she can kill me right now. I love her a lot. Miriam started to cry after hearing this, and dropped the knife. Roy hugged her, and told her that they will start their life from the beginning. But then Kotan's men hit Yuda in his head. But before he could kill him, Miriam threw that knife into his chest, and he died. But then Roy stabbed Miriam from the back, and told her that he loves her, but he needs to kill her for his family. Because the life of his family members was in danger. Yuda became so angry and killed Roy with that stone. And then Miriam died in Yuda's lap. Yuda dropped her dead body into the river and surrendered himself to the police. Yuda got arrested, and we saw that Kotan got his hand on Miriam's house. But now Miriam has become a real ghost. She killed him and all of his men, and at the end of the movie, we saw that Ozzy had also become a ghost, and he was scaring the women who were crossing the bridge. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, I will say, stay safe, stay well, thanks.